Hey Mercedes here from prettywebs.com and today I'm going to show you how to make a shimmery canvas texture inside of Photoshop. Later in the video I'm going to show you how to get this free download so make sure to stick around for that and if you like this video make sure to like, share and subscribe to this channel and visit prettywebs.com for more design resources for your blog and business. Now let's get started. Since I've been doing so many textures using this glass filter, um, I've decided to make it into a series. So I'm going to show you. This is these are the textures that we've been learning. So I made I turned it into a little eyeshadow palette because for some reason this one reminds me so much of a brand new eyeshadow when you just open it up. And so I put those here. But again, these ones these are all the textures that we've been learning how to make. Uh, over the past few weeks. So we've got the glitter textures and these are the same texture right here except that this one is brought down um, to maybe 25%. This is the full texture and then this one is 50%. So you can see the difference in the texture just by changing the size of these. And then these are our, our three kind of like um, shiny gemstone almost. Um, tiles that that we've created this one right here is from the tiny lens tutorial uh, I give you three textures in this one with the holographs and all of that stuff and then we have these two from today's tutorial so I hope you'll go back and watch all of the other videos in this series I do have another uh, tutorial coming out shortly uh, working with this glass filter that one's gonna be more of an embossing style uh, still still going to be metallic, shimmer, all of that, but uh, we're going to be embossing graphics into that one. And it's going to be a, that's going to be a very beautiful design. So make sure to stick around for that one. And make sure to go back and watch all of these other uh, shimmery texture videos as well. Okay, so we're going to start this uh, by setting our foreground and background colors. Our background color for this is going to be 53073E. And our foreground color is 970971. Now this is just if you're following along with me here, if you want to create your own colors, you can definitely do that. Just make sure that they're close to each other. So if you choose like a dark color like this, remember because we're doing a shimmery texture, we do need highlight and shadow. So this is gonna be your shadow and your color is gonna be somewhere around here you can um, choose a color from up here or up here. So if you want your final color to be somewhere around here, just make sure to choose from down here and from up in this area. So I'm going to go ahead and cancel. Okay, once we have our colors set, I'm going to go to Filter, Render, Clouds. And then from here, I'm going to go back in to the Filter Gallery. And I'm working... Uh, right here in the distort filters and I'm working with glass. So I've been doing a lot of tutorials lately specifically with this glass filter. This is the best way, this one and and this chrome, these are the best ones to use to get like a shimmery shiny effect. So I use this a lot. Ocean Ripple is okay but glass is a really good one for this type of texture. So we're going to work with glass and we're just going to make a few adjustments to the settings here for this one. So our distortion is going to be set all the way to 20. Our smoothness will be set to 2. And our texture is going to be this one. We're going to use canvas texture for this. And then we're going to scale this up to about 100 and 165 is fine. And this is the texture. You might not be able to see it on the screen. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. OK, so from here uh, we can add a little bit more drama to this. Um, this is a nice texture and it's, it's very subtle. Um, and it does have that sheen to it, but it doesn't have the drama that we're looking for for this one. So I'm going to make a copy of it actually a few copies because I want to show you different ways of sharpening this. So we're going to start here with the first one. We're going to come up to filter and sharpen and then I'm going to turn that off and then I'm going to come to the second one and I'll do um, sharpen and then I'll also add a more sharpen filter to that one. 
So that's the second one. And then the third one, we're just going to do more sharpen, which I think this one looks the best, um, but it just depends on what you're using this for. You may not want to sharpen it at all, but I wanted to show you just um, how they look. So I'm going to back this up a little bit. And it may be a little difficult to see what this looks like, but this is the most shiny. This was the sharpen and then more sharpen. And then this one is just more sharpen. And then this one is just sharpen. So hopefully you can see that. Um, the difference between all of these. Again, you know, if you are not sure, just go ahead and make a few copies and apply all of those sharpening filters to them the way you'd like and see what works best for you. And come up to edit, define pattern, and then just give the pattern a name. I already have this one, so I'm not gonna do that. To learn more about working with Photoshop textures, make sure to watch one of the videos up on the screen right now and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, thanks for watching.